Level up family, what's up? I'm back here with another video for you guys. This video right here is gonna continue our series that we have going on as a, a day in the life of an owner operator. Right now, I just got the call, uh, said the truck is ready. My truck, I put it in the shop last week because it was spraying cooling on the engine. And I got tired of just seeing that every time I popped the hood to do my pre-trip or when I pulled up to a stop, you know, I just smell the, the coolant. And when you got something wrong with your truck, it's best to catch it early because if you don't catch it early, it may cost you more money down later down the line. So I just went on once I finished working last week, I put it in the shop, um, I think it was Tuesday. And it's been in there for a week now, and I just got that car set is ready for pickup. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go pick this truck up, and I'm going to bring you guys along. But before we can get into this video, you already know what I need y'all to do. I need y'all to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hope Hopefully that you like the content that I'm putting out on this channel. And if you do, please hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell. Now we got that out the way. Come on now, let's get in this video. All right, so I'm going to order this Uber so that we can get out there to pick this truck up. All right, so I say my driver is four minutes away. So let's go outside so we can meet him. Hello. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good, and yourself? No, right here is good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Quick question. Yes. How much do it normally uh cost to fill this up? What did that I'm sorry? How much does it cost to fill this your tank up? My tank? Yeah, for this car. Uh like if I put full, it mm -hmm. would be almost fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's not bad then. I appreciate you, sir. All right, you have a good day. You too. Be safe out here. Oh, no. That guy don't even know it. don't even know it I'm about to bless him he don't realize how much of a blessing he was to me he helped me get to my destination safely where I needed to get to and I feel as though if you do one good deed to one person every day you're doing your job of living on this earth that God puts you on. So my good deed for him, he don't even know it, but I'm about to bless him. I'm gonna give him a tip of $50. He gonna have a full tank of gas on me. Do this real quick before I go in there. I never mind helping out people in life because I understand that not everybody has it easy out here. Not everybody, you know, can make a lot of money. You got people out here that are actually struggling a little bit and like, he's a good dude. Good conversation, a whole ride all the way over here. Uh, he's 
I asked him how long he was doing Uber. He said he's been doing it for about three years. He was working at a job and it just slowed down. Times got a little hard for the company and it just slowed down and they just started laying people off. And you know, he was originally one of the people that got laid off. So the only thing that he had left to lean on was, was just Uber. And then he said that he's out here doing at least 50 to 60 hours a week. And he seems like a real true genuine guy. So he told me he's making about 15 to two grand a week. To me, I think that's good money. Especially that's good money working for yourself. You know, he can come out here, he can do Uber as long as he want, when he want, is nobody to tell you, you know, you need to work this time or you need to be out the clock. It's, it's just him, you know? So he's doing Uber, he's out here, he's making the money as a man like he needs to do for his family and he's providing for his family. So that's a big ups to him. And for anybody else that's out here doing Uber or Lyft or any of the other, you know, services like that, definitely appreciate you guys you don't know how much you guys actually help out your community you know and if you don't hear from anybody else you're gonna hear from me i definitely appreciate you guys y'all stay safe out there on that road and let's go get in here and get this truck back How you, doing? How you doing? Good. Coming to pick up uh, my truck, the Freightliner 2017, Level Up Transport. Yes. Yes. Yep. And everything was all good with it. Uh, yeah, I mean everything with the coolant leak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we're here now. All right, just stand out there. Yep, yep. All right, thank you, sir. Y'all have a good one. What's up, man? I was just doing a walk around. Yeah, I you gotta do it. Yeah, appreciate you. Okay. All right, so that's all it was, was just uh, reservoir with the stuff? Uh, basically where the overflow goes in, the hose overflow goes in, it was fried. Okay. So, um, vibration and heat and cool and heat. Cool. Yeah. At first, I thought with the hose, I went to the pantry. I went to the hose, uh, I guess I pushed the next one. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, man. Appreciate you. All right. Oh, All right. So let's look at this thing. Purdy. She look real purdy. Let's see if I can get up here without busting my tail. Right. Look at that. Brand new coolant reservoir. As y'all might can see, just from 
where it was just splashing that everywhere. Hopefully we don't have them problems no more. But what he said was that the overflow tank is a nipple right in here. And he thought it was just a line, but I know it wasn't line because I put this line on myself. Went to Freightliner, line was probably about 10, 15 bucks. Took the clamps off, pulled it off, put it on, you know, and I tried to see if that fixed it, but that didn't fix it. And yeah, after the time, I just got tired of just seeing you know, coolant just spraying everywhere. So, so took it to the shop, and like he said, it was the overflow hose that this tank, and then it's a nipple right in here that cracked, and that was causing it to leak out so when the fan kicked on it was just running down the side of the fan i'm mean, running down the side of the reservoir and it was just shooting out all on the front of the engine and everywhere and that's all i could smell every time i stopped get out the truck i just smelled coolant and like i said i never really had to put any coolant into the tank so it wasn't it wasn't big it had just started not too long ago i probably ran probably two three weeks with it maybe and i just figured that it's just best for me to just go ahead and fix it while the problem is little rather than me be out there on the road and the whole thing just you know just crack and it just start pouring out and it's not holding cooling no more now you know you stuck on the side of the road now you gotta get towed and then you got roadside you, your bill is bigger than this so it's just best that if you have a problem and you see it, you catch it, and you catch your problems by doing your pre-trips. The pre-trips are crucial right now at these times. It's, like I said, the rate's not high. The rate's not high right now. Fuel is high, so you you want to minimize breakdown. I almost broke my legs jumping down like that. So to get a brand new reservoir and for them to fill it back up with the coolant and the clamps and then them to use their supply with the brake clean. And it also, of course, plus that 5%, you know, fee total was $802. Now, to me, that's good money. I love that anytime I can put my truck in the shop and I can get it back out and get it fixed and my bill is under a thousand dollars. That's a good day to me. But eight hundred dollars, you know, just because I did a pre-trip and I caught it that it was leaking and I caught it in the early stages. Like I said, rather than catching it later, you know, or being broke down on the side of the road, that's just it probably would have been eight hundred dollars just for, to get it told to the shop you know so it's best to always do your pre-trip definitely always keep doing your pre-trips you know the pre-trips are crucial right now so always do your pre-trip if you see something catch it at an early stage i know you don't want to have downtime but it's best to just go ahead and have that little bit of downtime and get it fixed right away rather than having a little problem turn into a big problem and then it's just costing you a lot more money and then you're going to wish that you just went on and just got it fixed in the beginning but so now i got the truck back it feels weird because i ain't been in here in a week but i'm right next to the ta so i'm about to shoot over there throw some gas in here and we're gonna head back to the yard and finish out the rest of the day all right family so i'm back at the yard now just parked the truck and just hopped in the car i gotta get an oil change done on the car so i'm going to shoot over and get that done but i made this video because i just wanted to keep you guys updated on what's been going on with me i know it's been a while since i posted a video but this is the reason why i haven't had a video in a while um you know when you have problems like this the main thing that i want y'all to learn from this video if you learn one thing from this video is to when you have a problem with your truck get it fixed first get it fixed right away don't wait on it because it can save you a lot of money if you just get it done quick and not wait for the long run you know just make sure you're doing your pre-trips and you find something get it fixed right away 
But now that we got the truck back, you know, I'm gonna check this load board, see if we can find a load for tomorrow so that we can get back to this money. But if you guys like this video and you made it all the way to the end, please hit that like button and jump down in that comment section and type level up for me. Just to let me know that you guys appreciate these videos that I'm putting out for you guys. And if you know somebody who can benefit from this video, please don't hesitate to send it to them. And once again, if you guys have any ideas or any questions or anything, you know, leave them down in the comment section. If you want me to make a video on a certain topic, leave that down in the comment section and I'll be gladly to get back to you on that. All right definitely appreciate you guys i just want to let y'all know i definitely appreciate you guys you guys motivate me to keep on putting these videos out for y'all y'all stay blessed and y'all stay safe out there and i catch y'all the next video